welcome back guys to my channel so today we're doing a full coverage full glam makeup look and I already went ahead and did half of the side of my face so that you guys can see what it turns out to be and we're gonna go ahead and get the other half done so you guys can see how it's done we're gonna go with the Lori L full wear concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with this and I tapped it out I did not set it we're going in with the Naked Peach Palette. And I'm going in with the third shade in the palette. It's a light brown. And I'm going to go ahead and pick it up on the Morphe brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just start tapping it on at first. And then we'll go back and blend. And I'm just building up color. Right now, you're going to see I start to blend it all out. And you just want to keep adding to get the consistency that you need. The tapping motion and the swiping motion. Because when we don't set the concealer, it still looks sticky. So by tapping on the color first and then blending, it gives more pigmentation to any of the eyeshadows. And it helps the eyeshadows last longer. Hanging up to see if you would call me. When you seem too far away And you can blame it all on me As long as we can find our way Do you remember all the times We tried to stop this? Yeah, we end up the same every time So next I'm going in with this round brush That's more compact And this is going to go above the crease but we're going to blend it in with that light brown that we started off with. But we don't want to take away all that light brown that we have set down. So that's going to be the top layer. And then we're going to have this darker brown going below. And we're just going to keep going back and forth and getting this really blended in. Now I'm going in with a Morphe Small Tapered Brush and we're going in with that reddish brown shade and this is what we're going to take actually in the crease. So we're going to use this shade going back and forth, windshield wiper motion and we're just going to pack that on to get the crease nice and deep and blend in some of that red color. even smaller detail brush that is really dense and compact and we take the brown, the deepest brown and the deepest red in the palette and I'll have the names listed on here for you guys and I'm going to do that on the outer corner and the inner corner and we're going to create a halo eye. So we want to pack those both of those colors into the inner corner and outer corner and bringing it into the crease around and just leaving that middle portion exposed because we'll go in with some concealer. So build this color up until you get the consistency we want. We want that deep color to come through. Red and that red color that we first put in the crease and I'm going to put it back into the crease because I thought when I was doing the outer corner and inner corner it ended up taking some of that red away and so I wanted to bring that color back. And now we're just taking the original color that we used at the beginning, that light brown, and going back over that top above the crease and then we're just taking a clean brush with nothing on it and we're just bringing that up to blend to make sure everything looks really seamless.
Now I'm going in with that same concealer, putting a little bit on the back of my hand, using a very small, flat, tapered brush, and we're going to go ahead and cut out that crease. I apply a little bit to the back of the brush, and then I pat it on, and then use swiping motions. I am going not exactly to the end, because I still want that color. So, you want to see so much of the outer corner, so much of the inner corner, and then go to the top of your crease where it rounds off. And then, I'm going to be taking the rose gold color in this palette, which is the middle color, the fourth, fifth color over. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to start packing that on to the concealer. I also put down some glitter glue. I always do. This is from NYX on top of the concealer so that it really helps adhere any of the glitter, the eyeshadow, or even any metallic colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and you're going to see me. I'm going to keep tapping this on and getting it all blended out so that it's really pretty. this white shade of the palette it's the very first one and this is going to go on our brow bone underneath our brows just to lighten that up we will be going in with a highlighter as well up on the brow bone to give it some more sparkle and brightness but for now we're just going in with the white I'm also going in with the Elf Coreless Putty Primer. This is going for our face primer so that we can get our face all set. And I take quite a bit, but you really don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm making this as full coverage as I can, so I want a lot of primer so that it really adheres to the foundation. Next, I'm going in with the NYX, it's Dark Circle Corrector for under your eyes. I'm taking a little bit of this on my finger, and I'm going to tap this under the eyes. Like I said, we want full coverage, so I want to cover this all up before we put foundation and concealer. Just use tapping motions, it works best to be able to set it in place. Next, I am going to be going in with this Pure. This is a concealer, and I'm going to use this to spot conceal. And I'm taking a little bit of this and just dotting it wherever I want some more coverage or wherever I got some pimples or even marks. And I'm going to tap this out with the Beauty Blender. And this is all going under our foundation. Next, I'm going in with the two foundations, two different shades. This is Maybelline. This is a full coverage foundation. And I'm taking 120 and 112. This becomes a perfect shade for me. It fits better. So I'm taking both of those, squirting a pump on the back of my hand. I'm going to use the Becca Black Light Primer. 
because I want a little shimmer to this foundation, a little bit of glow. And this is a very glowy primer. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. And now I'm gonna mix it all together and go ahead and put it on my face. I'm using a lot more than what I usually would. And then I'm gonna tap this out with the Morphe Y6 Buffer Brush. I'm gonna just tap it all in until I got majority of the product all blended out the best I can. Don't forget to bring it down your neck, up by your ears. You can see a really harsh line if you're not blending it as far farther down than just your chin area. So make sure you blend it up into the hairline, blend it down the neck, around your nose, everywhere you can so that it's really really seamless. After we got it all blended out as much as possible, we don't want to blend too, too much with the brush because we don't want the streaks left in. As you can see, I pull down the neck and up, but on the face, I'm using tapping motions. I'm going to go in then with my beauty blender, and this is going to cause it to soften up and look more skin-like and take away some of the product that so leave that full coverage really pressing it into the skin and setting it down so it doesn't look so in your face. After it's all blended, we're going in with the NYX concealer. This is the HD concealer. I believe it's in CW2. So we're going to take this and we're going to go on the bridge of the nose, under the eyes, the chin, and the forehead. We're going to use another concealer as well. Like I said, this is really full coverage. So we want this to be as full coverage and as planned as possible. I do like the under eyes and wherever I'm going to be highlighting to be brighter. So that's why it is a little bit lighter than my foundation is. This is the same concealer we use to set our eyes. And this is the L'Oreal Full Wear, and I'm just tapping a little bit of this on not much because this is way, way lighter than the NYX concealer. I'm going to tap it out with this brush at first just to get the product to soften up and to get it to set down. And then I'll be going in with a beauty blender to actually finish pulling it out and setting it down in the face. After it's all blended, we're going in with the Cody Airspun Boost Finishing Powder. And this is the translucent. We're going to take our beauty blender on the back and we're going to pick up some product and we're going to go ahead and bake under our eyes, our top of our forehead, our chin, and on the top of our nose. Then we're going to take any bit that is left over and we're going to tap it on our face to set our foundation. I am now taking, this is the Wet n Wild, there's two of them, one's a Mega Glow contour Stick and one's a Dual Ended contour Stick with a highlighter on the other end. I'm taking both of these products, I am putting them on the back of my hand and what this does is the warming up that cream product because if you just go straight harsh on the face, what I notice is when I go to blend it out, it's actually picking up my foundation. So by warming it up in the back of the hand and then picking it up with either your brush or your beauty blender and tapping it onto the face is actually giving a more softer contour and you can build this up as much as you would like to. So if you're not used to doing contour, I suggest doing this way because you'll see it's not harsh at all. It's a really soft contour. If you're going to mess with any cream products when it comes to contouring. 
and I'm just going back in picking up more and if you need more just rub some more on the back of your hand and blend those two colors together and keep picking up more. Now we're going in with the Hula bronzer from Benefit and this is what I'm going to actually bronze up the face and also finish contouring with. And I'm just taking this contour brush, circular motions, and putting it wherever I should put my cream contour to set that so it does not mix. We're holy when we touch anyhow. Holy when we touch anyhow. Give me a chance to make it right. Just let me touch you like the first time. Blending it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut right underneath that bronzer. So if you make a mistake going too low, this will help cover up you going too low with your bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and sweep off all that other powder that we have so that we can get ready to move on to the next. This is real technique. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, oh. Oh, oh. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to go ahead and take me. The red shade that we used for in our crease and that dark purple reddish shade, brown shade that we used. And I'm going to go ahead and buff out underneath. I'm also taking the shimmer shade all the way on the end and I'm going to bring that down underneath the eye to give it a pop of that shimmer. So just keep going back and forth under the eyes. Going in with the white cream shade. And then I'm going in with the halo eye color that we use, that rose gold color. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And I'm taking the Master Chrome highlighter we use and also tapping that into the inner corner to give it that really pop and glow inner corner that we need. This is from Urban Decay Naked and it's an illuminator powder. It is a highlighter. It is way too glittery, so I don't use it anymore as far as a highlighter. 
unless I want it to be glittery, but on its own, no. But I am going to tap this on top of the brown bone and into the inner corner, and it has this pink shift to it, so it's really pretty. I went ahead and I did mascara and the eyelashes, eyeliner, and also did my clean eyeliner. So this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it turned out really, really pretty. I will put on some Morphe setting spray to set it all into place and pick me out a lipstick. But I really enjoyed this look. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. But you don't see that I just want you You get me things, but I don't care Be there is a place where we can go Where it's always shining like the snow Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know